Hello, everyone. It is Saturday, November the 17th. Saturday, November the 17th. The reason that date is significant is because the clock for our nation is running down. Every day we get closer and closer to what I believe to be the end of our nation the way we've known it, the way it was intended to be. Now, we've talked about the problem until there's no reason to keep bringing it up. What we've got to do is we've got to stop it. Stop it. While we can, stop it. While it is stoppable. And we're going to have to do some things. And we're going to have to do some things together. If we are to save our country. Now, let me say. The things that I'm going to tell you that we have got to do, and I'm going to have got to do to save this country, they're not hard. There'll be no harder than taking cookies and milk to a reform school. But you got to do it. That's the that killer. you got to do it. What's killing us is when something comes up that we ought to do in the interest of not doing it and not making ourselves feel bad because we didn't do it or even haven't tried to do it. It didn't work. It won't work. You can't know if something will or won't work until you try it. So the first thing I want to bring to your attention is really pretty simple, but you got to do it. I've told you before, go make a yard sign. Until we can generate funds for us to do things together, you're going to have to do it on your own. Create yard signs that point out to your neighbors and friends and the passers-by that illegal aliens, illegal immigrants, whatever you want to call them, when they make it here, they cost us. Do you hear me? When they make it to this country, the cost of their existence, their family, everything about them is transferred to us. To us. And do your neighbors know that? Do your peace, love, dope neighbors know that? Oh, well, it's just one, you know, just one Central American family might cost us a little. Folks, it ain't one. It's, a, it's thousands of them, and it adds up. So make the yard signs pointing out every alien that comes here and gets in cost you, the passerby. It cost you out of your pocket. They're not going to do anything until it hits their pocket. Now, to carry that on, I want everybody to hear my voice. Go around your community. If you are a sanctuary state, especially a sanctuary county or sanctuary city, Go around and see if you can find an attorney 
that will take the case pro bono for the publicity, then we'll be glad to help publicize his plight to sue. To sue the city, the county, or the state. Why? Now, let me tell you. You see, most of the time when it comes to lawsuits, you can't really do it because they'll throw you out because of a word called standing. Standing means in law, I'm giving you the short version, standing in law means it's relevant to you, number one. Number two, you have to show damages. You don't have to show a lot of damages, but you got to show where an action by somebody else caused you damage. Well, here we go. Find us an attorney. Find an attorney that will go after the city, the county, and the state. Now, ordinarily, you can't do that. Ordinarily, they are prohibited from being sued. Not now. Not because they're outside of the Constitution, you see. They're not following the law. I'm not going to tell you that it's going to happen. I'm not going to tell you that every attorney is going to jump on it. I'm not going to tell you that it'll even work. But if we can get enough people in this country seeking out to do it, somebody will. And when we get somebody that will, then we pour the coal to it. See? Action. Actions. Take them. Do. We have to. So you got the street signs. You got the attorneys to go around and find. To see if they'll take a case to stop these illegals coming across the border. And folks, we've got to get together. We got to get together. That's what they've got on us. These creeps, these progressive creeps, they band together, stick together. We don't. We conservatives, we don't. We don't live like that. We don't. We just don't. Well, we've got to start meeting. When I was fighting the Clintons, I wish I'd have come up with it, but I didn't. It just sort of happened. People would take the Clinton Chronicles, the video, and they would literally hold block parties. And friends and neighbors, they'd call them and have coffee and tea or whiskey or whatever they had. And people would watch it. Do it with this. You don't know which neighbors. You, you, you think you do, but you don't know. You probably have neighbors and friends that are just as upset by, about all of this as you are. Ask them. Try to have. Try to set up some kind of get together in your home for, you don't have to have the whole town. You start out with three or four neighbors. Just get them together. Talk about it. Talk about what you can do in your neighborhood. Talk about it. That's what they did to stop Clinton, to get him impeached. They talked about what can be done. Do it again. Do it again. And guys, I'm not going to tie you up any longer tonight. I know, I know you've got things you need to do. 
that every day or every other day I'm going to be on here. And I'm going to ask you to do some things. Things that I know we can do. And if we do them, if we just do them, we can turn this ship around. We can turn the tide and stop it. You got to do it. And then there's one other thing. I heard a report on Fox that the progressive movement, thanks to Soros and a few other ultra-rich, did you know they've got 447 million dollars to put into this battle? 447 million. I don't know the validity of that number, but they got lots of money. We don't. I'm begging you to do one thing for me. Don't ask me to help fight these people, to get out front, to take the heat that's going to surely come and pay for it too. Because I don't have the money to. I do not have the money. So, surely, please, hopefully, please, you can help at least relieve some pressure here so I can at least be free mentally to do what's got to be done to organize these things to stop it or to try to stop it. So much your country as it is mine. Bottom line, it's our country. And there's not one thing I've asked you that matches in any way what our founding fathers were asked to do to get us free from the King of England. I have not asked us to pick up a musket. I have not asked us to pick up a weapon of any sort. That's not the war of today. What I've asked you to do is engage the enemy. And I promise you, if you will support me, there's one thing you will know. When it comes time, whenever it comes time, to stand up in front of that enemy and take the licks. I'll be in the front, not the back. I'll be in the front. They don't scare me at all. They should. But I believe in this country so much that I, I can't, I can't turn away. So will you do that much? Help me. Because there's a lot of work we've got to do. And a bunch of it I've got to set up to do. So with that, till the next one in a day or so. Good day.